Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you in QGIS Zurich, um, yeah, 318, a uh, bit, bit of power in the map tips. Um, when, you, when you have map tips on, so you've got to show map tips there under the view option, um, and you position the um, pointer <coughs> over the, the feature the map tips is, is, is switched on for, um, you, you will get some default field displayed. Uh, th this is just some open source um, uh, sort of OSM theatres, theatre data on top of uh, Orbis um, raster map background um, in Austria. And um, so you see it come up with some number there. Well, what, what is that? Well, if I go to my OSM theatres layer, I can see that actually in display, um, I've got OSM ID in there. And that's where it's picking it up from. So labels is a different thing. You know, it's very, that's to write on the map and literally label the subject. So the feature. So here in display, this is where you're talking about, you know, what you're going to display. So there is an expression builder and you can go off and do lots of lots of stuff. But actually what I wanted to cover in this one is HTML. It's, is the idea of bringing um, HTML information in. So. Um, I'm just going to bring it straight in so you can see straight away how it works and uh, and then you can sort of experiment yourselves and, uh, and bring data in from fields and that sort of thing. So if I bring in a just a straightforward um, link like that to the, the website and then press OK, you see how it's in href there. It's an actual link. So press OK. So now when I hover over one of these pointers, I actually get see uh, out of any any of this in this layer a um, link so it says go to GIS coordinated website so I click on it and up it pops so that's a you know straightforward hyperlink and I can add more I could uh, let me just I don't just have to have one I could put some more HTML in there it's not fully constructed you might want to do that you know create body and stuff but um, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it um, like that press ok and so now I should have two links one that goes to Gisco and one that goes to the YouTube channel Hi there. there you go I won't play that um, the other thing you can do is uh, because it's HTML and this is the final little example is I could have these links but then have a graphic on there that automatically shows up so whenever I've, whenever I hover over a feature I want an image to appear maybe it's a photo of, of something it's a photo of a tree or a building architecture something like that so here I've I just just done a straightforward image source and um, and hooking it direct to a um, location where I, I have a graphic of our offices so now when I press OK we'll get a slightly enriched box here you see so I've got these two links Plus, I've got the Gisco offices, and with HTML, I could make, make you know, I could just make that graphic into a uh, HTML link that goes off to that URL. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. It's just a quick look, and I'll, I'll definitely be doing more on this in another video. Hope that helps. Thanks.